Hello again, Pietro here. Thanks for clicking on by. So today, another new product. Uh, I was just telling the cameraman, Stefano, say hi, Stefano. Hello. That as of late, okay, so for several years, I have been infatuated with solar power. So I bought some solar panels. Uh, this is a device by BioLite, which has been around for several years. And this is the BioLite Solar Panel 10 Plus. So not an unboxing, just more of a unwrapping, if you will. <laughs> so let's take a look at this. So I ordered this off REI.com and it was on sale for $80. So the really cool thing about this, and I didn't know this <laughs> until I was about ready to unbox it, this has an onboard battery so the battery is 3000 milliamps, which is about the size of a small smartphone. So not a huge battery. And I like to be careful with the packaging, but apparently you can't do that with this one. So we're gonna have to, oh no, it just slides off. My bad. So we have a 360 degree kickstand analog sundial. That'll be kind of cool. Real-time power with battery storage, 10 watts to charge your gear. That was the other reason I bought this. When you're charging at five watts, that's the same as the Apple plug and it takes forever to charge your cell phone. So yeah, this is also lightweight, folds, blah, 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 inputs, micro USB. Let's take a look. Guess you kind of have to rip it open. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. All right. You know, it looks, it's smaller than I thought. Okay, so there's the Energy Everywhere pamphlet. So it comes with a USB-A to micro USB. So that's, there's the kickstand and then it clicks, that's nice. And then on back, there's the USB-A and the micro USB. So you can connect it both ways. So the battery pack is in here. And then when you're charging it, whoa. Hmm. How do you get that to stay down? I guess you could go like that. So there are the solar panels. It doesn't feel heavy. I mean, I could throw this in my backpack. Came with a sticker, instructions. So I'll read this later. And there's the bio light. I'm just, it looks like you're gonna have to set something on there. It is brand new. So you get out your pocket knife, close it, <laughs> and then just rest it on the corner. And now we can charge gadgets. So let's take a look at this outside. That's what it looks like outside. So, you know, now that I have it outside and I've opened it a couple times, it is staying open. And there is the sundial. So basically, from what I understand, if we can get that dot within the center, so click this up a little bit. And now we have direct view of the sun onto the solar panels. Awesome. So now I'll just leave this outside and charge the battery. Been charging in the sun for well over an hour. So let's see if it has any juice. Trying a different charging technique here. Get all the angles of the sun. Okay, the sun moved and so did I. So trying to get it right in that alignment. There we go. Time is 1519, so it's been charging in direct sunlight for almost three or four hours. Day three of this BioLite 
uh, solar panel charge product. So portable solar panel, yeah. So it is 8.24 in the morning and we're gonna see if I can charge the built-in battery a little more. Okay, I brought it inside, click the battery and it's a solid one. Hmm. Okay, so we'll just leave this outside. Check our little solar thing here. Get the dot in the center. That looks good. It has literally been outdoors for nine hours plus. Charge, charge. Come on, BioLite. It's trying to be really scientific, so I have this uh, Gardner blender, and it should say amps and volts. Uh, it's a USB multimeter to read the voltage. I have it plugged in. We have really good sunlight, but it is not registering anything. Maybe this is broken. Might need to buy another one. So, let's unplug this. Okay, that was harder than I thought. I had to find a USB-A to lightning port adapter so I could charge my phone with the solar panel. Okay, let's plug it in and see how fast. BioLite is nice because it has that charging port. Now we can plug in my phone. Well, it says 22%. Maybe my USB port's broken. Well, we'll just uh, let this charge in the shade there. It's hot, it's sunny. Nope, still not charging. And I'll give it a fighting chance like I always do. I'll put it into airplane mode. And hopefully my phone doesn't overheat. And then just so it doesn't blow away, we'll use that weight as a paperweight. Yeah. It has been a good hour and let's check up on the iPhone and the solar panel thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, it's now 1313. Still have really good sunlight, a little hazy. My iPhone is really warm and it is still at 21%. It did not charge at all. And then we tried that USB port. I think my solar panels are defective. There's nothing worse than taking something out of the box, getting that new toy and having it broken. That's the worst. Well, this one's charging, so that's good. This is a free one I got from a salesman. Model, whatever, yeah. Ooh, hot. Okay, let's take these inside. So I just barely came inside, as you can see by the time. I want to see how hot these devices got. Ooh, 127. And my desk temperature is 67. And the solar panel surface, 114. Huh, a little cooler, 110. That orange area, 113. And the back, 112. There's a couple different ways we can test this, uh, but I've pretty much determined that the BioLite is broken. <laughs> uh, and I've only had it out of the box for three days. Bummer. Let me show you how I prove that it was broken. So step number one, I tried multiple cables. And the other reason I know that something's going on is because I've had this device outside in the sun for almost three full days and if I check the battery it never got above one like it's just defective something inside is broken I would love to pop this open but this was 80 bucks so I think I'll return it and get a new one and hopefully get that test it and charge my devices. Now it does have a micro USB port in addition to, to the USB-A, so I'll try to charge something that way real quickly. Hang on. Okay, this is the OEM cable that it came with. So I'll plug this in. And now we'll see if I can charge my headphones. These are only a year old, but a lot of devices are still shipped. 
with this different port. No light whatsoever. Okay, let's test that cable. Here's a charging brick. A little portal battery. Yep, there's the light. So the cable's good, the headphones are good, but this is not good. Yeah, this 3000 milliamp battery should have some juice. Nothing at all. So let's try the reverse. Let's try this port. And then we'll plug it into our little nothing. Whereas if I plug, so sorry, I think that's a, so if I plug that in, nothing. However, if I plug this in my portable battery, okay, good news, Stefano. Thanks again for lending this to me. It is working, so it's getting 0 0.06 amps and 5 volts. Let's try the other port, which I think is high speed. Ooh, 5 volts and, oh, the same. Well, shoot. Yeah, yesterday when I brought it in from the sun, this read almost one, but yeah, it's just not taking a charge. That's a huge bummer. So I'll give this one more go charging outside. I'm gonna charge this one, this little device, the Garmin VivoActive 4 Darth Vader watch. And we'll use the OEM charger and see if we can get this thing to work. I'll give it one last try, and then I'll call REI and get this exchanged. Uh, last try here. Uh, <laughs> it just hasn't been charging at all, so let's see what happens. Okay, it's been well over 50, 55 minutes. It's been well over 15 minutes. It's now 1413, 84%, so it actually went down. This thing, this BioLite is, well, Hopefully it's biodegradable because it's broken. All right, we are gonna give this BioLite one more try. I've charged it for the last two hours through a five watt plug right into the battery using the cable they gave me. Oh, well, it says something's going on there. That's good. So let's unplug it. Okay, it says one little light after three hours. So now if we plug this device in there with the extension cable, this should tell us if we're getting any power. No, nothing. So there's no output. That's bad. Now, if we test the cables, and plug this into where I was charging it. Yep. Half of an amp, well, less than that. So yeah, five volts. Darn it. That means it is not working whatsoever. So now we can test it the other way by plugging in this to see if we can charge my headphones. Nope, nothing. However, when I plug the same cable into the wall, it charges just fine. So the cable's not bad. This section's right bad. I mean, the solar panels might be working, but nothing's getting saved. <laughs> in the battery. Bummer, let's send this back to REI. Yeah, I think uh, BioLite can easily say I tried, but I put it back in the box and this is going back 
to REI. Uh, let me know if you've tried BioLite products and uh, yeah, were your, did you have a good experience, bad experience? I had a great experience returning it. It literally took about a minute. I just went to my account on REI.com, clicked the product, said return, done. I take it back to the post office. Uh, they pay for the shipping, so awesome. Thumbs up to REI. And thank you so much for watching. I'll uh, have another video out soon. I'll show you a device <laughs> that holds solar panels that does work. One of my favorites, the Garmin Instinct Solar. Goodbye, and let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid.